Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris from weartesters.com. Today we have the performance review on the Jordan Superfly 3. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So here's the traction. Basically, it's the same exact stuff that we saw on the Air Jordan 29. Um, this is done with a, a solid outsole instead of a clear outsole. I actually thought that these performed a little bit nicer outdoors uh, than they did indoors when you had a dusty setting. But if you're playing on clean floors or moderately clean floors, even somewhat dusty floors, these are going to do you just fine. So as you can see here, we got that flight plate system, which works in tandem with that four foot zoom unit. This one in comparison to the Air Jordan 29 felt a lot more responsive. This one you can actually feel it's springy, it's explosive, and it feels awesome underfoot. There's still only foam in the heel, but for whatever reason, uh, this, this lower profile midsole that they use, it's, it's thinner than uh, last year's Superfly 2, just feels better. I don't know why, it just feels really comfortable. Um, I almost thought that they used like a specialized foam in here, even though it's just Phylon. And it makes transition super smooth, which could be due to the split back and the low profile feel, which overall together, especially for a guard, just feels awesome. So if you're a bigger guy even, um, it might feel just as good, especially in the low post if you're doing pivot moves. So materials look like mesh, but this is actually just a fuse. Uh, fuse upper and then they've kind of glued uh, what looks like some kind of mesh on top of it This is a good and a bad thing for me personally I didn't like it as much as I like a woven upper, but it's very strong. It's very durable. Um, it shows zero wear I mean, I've been wearing these for a couple weeks now and they barely even wrinkle But because of that they do flex a little bit weird especially right down here uh, So you can kind of feel it when you first put them on and it feels a little strange at first And then you kind of got to get used to it So overall if you're looking for something that's durable and supportive then this is definitely that option for you I know that some people thought that the 29's upper was a little bit too lightweight uh, too flimsy and this is definitely not that this is going to take care of you no matter what uh, whether you're a guard or you're a big man, uh, this is basically the hyper dunk for the Jordan line. As far as the fit, they fit true to size. Uh, they do fit a little bit more narrow than last year's model uh, right here at the forefoot, something that I personally enjoyed. And then again, like I was saying, they flex a little funny right here due to the, the stiffness of the upper here. Um, the material is just a little bit thicker than I'd like, especially for a fuse. I did like how last year's was fuse and then it had like fabric uppers in certain places. This one's just a straight hard body fuse upper. Lockdown though was great. Uh, you have this flight web system which runs all the way to the base of the footbed. So when you lace these things up, they just kind of envelope your foot and keep you locked down to the footbed. And then that heel lockdown was fantastic. I had zero issues whatsoever. The ventilation wasn't too good on the Superfly 2 and it's definitely not any better on this one. Because of that all fuse upper, there's no perforations, there's no airflow. Uh, the only area that you're gonna be getting any airflow is from the tongue and it's gonna be very minimal. As far as support is coming from that entire upper, that fuse upper is just gonna contain you. It's basically like a fuse shell, so your foot's not going anywhere. And that works alongside the flight web system that they have here for the lacing, as well as the lockdown in the heel. There is an internal heel counter, which is great. Uh, keeps your foot from shifting side to side. And that works along with the flight plate system, which you could see wraps up right here along the lateral side. That flight plate also runs underfoot full length, so it's activating the cushion and it's adding torsional and arch support as well. All right, guys, that pretty much takes care of everything. In my opinion, I like these just a little bit more than the uh, Superfly 2 and 2PO, mostly because these sit a little bit lower profile. You can feel the cushion very springy and responsive. And surprisingly enough, I think that the traction is just good indoors or outdoors, which is something that's usually pretty rare to find. The only real things I can complain about is just me really nitpicking. Um, I just really didn't like the fuse upper. It didn't flex well with my foot. Um, mostly in comparison to the woven upper from the 29. That stuff, I mean, woven is just the next level. And so it makes things like fuse almost seem outdated. But if you're a bigger guy, which is what this shoe is intended for, you're getting all that awesome cushion with a very supportive and durable upper, which is always good. If you were interested in grabbing these guys, they got this colorway along with a few others now over at finishline.com. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.